I posed the question to you earlier about the delivery numbers. May and April look really good. That's coming on top of a record first quarter. Are, are we looking at the second quarter, obviously, going to be more records? And what does this tell you about Chinese demand? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we have just announced a record uh, May delivery number for us. Uh, this is on top of all the uh, um, record-breaking quarters we had. Um, we actually, you know, see we are on track to meet or exceed our forecast target of second quarter delivery numbers, um, which means that I think uh, Chinese EV demand is still very strong. I mean, after, I think, a short pause during the Chinese New Year period in February, the industry has rebounded quite strongly. And I think the whole year outlook is very, very strong for us as well. Does it change your outlook for profitability? I think you have a break-even target for around 2023 or so. You have not turned a profit yet, but has that been accelerated at all because of the recovery? Well, I think uh, if you look at the gross margin line, we actually have been steadily improving. Um, our gross margin had double digit in the first quarter. Uh, we expect the whole year to see steady improvement as well. Um, I think that's an encouraging sign as we are building scale and probability on a, a vehicle level. Um, given our investment phase of obviously, and then the fast growth of our operations will probably uh, be a, a couple of years away from the whole company uh, profitability. But you know, obviously the, the gross margin is what we're focusing on. What are your biggest challenges right now? Commodities have had a big rally. Of course, copper is used in EVs. Uh, is there, are there shortages uh, that you're facing? What is your biggest challenge, even though you are having these record deliveries? Right. I mean, the whole industry right now is experiencing short uh, chip shortages um, across the board. Uh, we are not, you know, obviously have not been spared from that. Uh, we have been, you know, trying very proactively to deal with the situation. And that's why we are showing, you know, you know, month over month growth com compared to peers who are not growing in the recent months. Uh, but I think that situation will uh, probably start to ease in the third and fourth quarter. And hopefully by, you know, the early next year, we'll be back to normal again. Well, how has it hit production? Because some banks have been looking at the production shortages because of up to 10 percent because of this chip shortage. Well, I, I would have to say, you know, it has impacted and constrained some of our, you know, ability to deliver. Um, despite that, and then we continue to, do, you know, obviously meet and exceed our targets. Uh, it's because I think we have tried and, and very hard to, uh, you know, address those uh, chip shortage issues by being proactive, you know, establishing, you know, a relationship with our, you know, suppliers and partners, um, and also the fact that we are not dealing with hundreds of thousands of volume compared to some of the traditional OEMs, I think give us a flexibility to be nimble here. Yeah, that's right. Um, you also have just two cars on the market right now, the G3 SUV and the P7. How critical then going forward will be the rollout of the new sedan, the P5, um, which I assume is going to require a lot more chips as well? Well, I think the P5 will be a very exciting product. We have very high expectation for it. Um, in fact, uh, we're probably one of the very few um, uh, EV company in China that has a brand new model rolling out this year. Uh, so it gave us additional catalyst for growth. Uh, the third product is also a very different product from our existing portfolio. It is targeted at the family sedan segment with uh, you know, additional focus on smart cabin uh, and as well as autonomous driving capabilities. It's also um, the world's first uh, EV equipped with LiDAR on a production level, a large quantity production level. So it will be a very exciting product. And I think uh, you know we are confident by the time we target delivery in early um, fourth quarter, uh, it will be able to meet the demand with the production schedule.